Blackburn Rovers back on the road once again as we take on Oxford this Tuesday night. We'll talk about the match and more on today's show. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview. In this episode, we'll be talking about Oxford United. But before we get stuck into it, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and keep you bang up to date with all Blackburn Rovers content. The games are coming thick and fast. And after this one, we're doing Bristol Rovers. So, but that's a, a, a story for another day. Today, we're going to be talking about Oxford United. So Rovers coming into this one on the back of a pretty decent victory. I know we were playing up, up against uh, the bottom club, Berry, But they're a decent team uh, when you look deep down. I know they're going for a bit of a, a rough patch right now. They recently got rid of their manager. And there was a bit of... Uh, a uh, bit of a transition for them. They brought in a whole host of players. So getting the players on the same wavelength, early doors, especially after a break, is critical. So I think we are, are playing two games a week for the next three weeks. Uh, and in the process, trying to make up those two games in hand that we have. Uh, and one of those games uh, is Oxford United. So let's dig a little bit deeper into that match. Um, it will be played at the Kassam Stadium on Tuesday, the 21st of November. Last season, Oxford finished 8th. And the current top scorer is Wes Thomas with seven goals. And they've got a manager by the name of Pep Clotet. I think he was a former a staff member or maybe even a player at Barcelona way back when. Uh, before uh, his appointment, they were managed by Michael Apperton, who's since gone on to be assistant at Leicester City. Uh, and obviously, us Rovers know Michael Apperton as a former Blackburn Rovers coach. Over the history of time, these two teams have met 26 times. Of the 26 times, Blackburn Rovers have won nine of them. Oxford United have won seven. And ten more of those have ended in a stalemate. As for the five previous fixtures, uh, they look like this. Rovers winning the last two, 3-0 and 3-1 respectively. And before that, Rovers and Oxford uh, battling out to a draw. So we go into this in pretty good shape, considering we haven't lost in at least five games. As for the teams themselves, let's take a look at the starting lineups or the expected starting lineups. First up and foremost is Oxford. As you can see, in between the sticks, the familiar face, Simon Eastwood. We'll talk more about him in a little bit. Then you have Tendali, Martin, Morshino, Ferreira, Da Silva, Henry, Ledson, Ruffles, and Rothwell. Payne and Thomas up front. As for the statistics, these are the key numbers that matter. Thomas has topped the goal scorers with seven goals. Hall's got five, Payne's got five, Henry's got four. Into the discipline, Rothwell with five yellows, Henry with four yellows, Ledson's got four, and Ricardinho has three. I'm not sure where Ricardinho fits into the lineup. As for the Reds, they've got no red cards, so they've been doing pretty well in that department. As for the form book, Last time out, Oxford coming away with all three points against Plymouth Ar Ar Argyle, 4-0 winners. Uh, before that, they slipped up, though, at home to Northampton Town, 2-1. In the Checker Trade Cup, they lost to Milton Keynes uh, in a high-scoring 3-4 game. Uh, before that, they stumbled out of the FA Cup, 2-0. And all the way back in 28th of October, they lost to Fleetwood, 2-0 away from home. So they're going into this in, in not the greatest bit of form. Obviously, the last time out, they did pick up a a good three points, and maybe there was a, a sense of unrest uh, at the Kassam Stadium before that match. Maybe they did turn a corner, and now they're going to be uh, hoping, hoping to make up some lost ground. But looking at those past five games, just one win out of those five. Uh, but on the flip side, only three of those games were in the league. Czech Trade Cup, who really gives a care about the Czech Trade Cup? I'm sure they're a bit gutted about the FA Cup, uh, and also a bit, bit, bit miffed with losing three points at home against strugglers Northampton. As for Rovers, this is how I think they're going to line up. Only one change to my lineup, but to be honest with you, uh, and in fact tell a lie, two changes to my lineup, and one change to the actual lineup that was actually uh, brought out by Mowbray on Saturday. So Ryan and Gold, Naimbi, Downing, Mulgrew, Williams. No point changing that back five. Uh, when I say back five, I mean the keeper as well. Into midfield, Bennett, Whittingham, Smallwood and Dak. That's the midfield that did start the game. I actually had Conway. I believe, on the wing. Uh, I wasn't sure if Bennett was available. Well, up front, going to keep the, 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 the big Swede now, Antonsson. Antonsson, he's uh, proved me wrong a little bit. Hopefully he can take the opportunity and lead the line, maybe get another goal uh, against Oxford. And Dominic Samuel, I'm going to bring him back and put Joe Nuttall on the bench. So mix it up a bit, bringing Dominic Samuel back into the lineup. If Joe Nuttall had scored, 
on Saturday, then I would have obviously kept the starting duo up front. But, um, you know, rewards bring uh, uh, guarantees your place. Obviously, I'm not going to drop Marcus Anderson, definitely not going to drop Badley Dak. He was critical in setting up uh, the majority of those goals. As for the statistics of Rovers, we have a new top scorer. Marcus Antonsen tops the pile with six goals. Dak with five. Dominic Samuel, five. And Joe Nottle stood in there. Fourth spot, four goals. Into the discipline, Elliot Bennett, five yellows. Evans, five yellows. Smallwood, five yellows. Williams with three yellows. As for the red cards, we have three of them now. Uh, Bennett, Samuel, and Wharton with th uh, a yellow apiece. As for the form book, obviously we're going into this uh, on the back of a 3 0 away victory at Berry. Before that, we had the... Check a trade cup. We drew on the day, but we lost 5 3 on penalties. Uh, before that, 4th of November, 3 1 victory at Bar uh, home to Barnet. Uh, before the Halloween nightmare, which was a 2 2 draw against Fleetwood Town. And then all the way back to 28th of October, um, a draw away at Wigan, which to me is still is a good result. Uh, so, out of the past five games, uh, on a, a 90 minute point of view we are unbeaten in five at least five I think the I think the run does stretch back a little bit more than that but also if you take the uh, penalties into consideration you know that does change that a little so what's been happening on social media a lot of fans still uh, looking back at the Berry game only a few guys have uh, turned their attention towards Oxford so on Twitter Kev Jakeman said at Pep Clotet Progress, result, great performance. Looking forward to Tuesday. Safe trip home, boys. So Oxford uh, having to travel back from Plymouth uh, in time to turn that around and host Blackburn Rovers on Tuesday. Also, Paul Horton on Twitter said, Excellent win today, Pep. Bring on Tuesday. And then also another Oxford United fan, Nicola Von Lemonham said, fantastic result and performance. I had hope for a response after last week. And I'm so pleased for you and the players that hard work has paid off. Bring on Blackburn. Meanwhile, Rosie Moore on Facebook said, unfortunately couldn't get to Barry yesterday, but when you find out Rovers fans made up over half of the total attendance, it does make you wonder. Two games in hand. Hopefully we'll put them to good use. We could have a chance here. Bring on Oxford, she says. Liam Walker said, you know, I'm, I assume he is a... Oxford United fan. Can't wait to smash the chicken lovers on Tuesday night. And then there's a couple of uh, couple of other people chipping in with this comment. Harry Pee Wee Griffin says, we're shit at home. Never going to happen. And then Barry Gibbs jumps in and says, Venky's in. Ha 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 ha. Obviously, he's a loser. And I don't usually do this, but uh, my post was up there on uh, Facebook. Um, and then David Fernie Fernihach. Not sure how you pronounce that name. David Bernie Howe said, hope we beat you on Tuesday night. So uh, I'm hoping that we beat you on Tuesday night because it will be um, it will be a great result. You know, I'm, I'm Oxford are a decent side. They're about where they should be. You know, so they're going to be knocking on the door of the playoffs. And if we do pick up, I'm, you know, I'm looking at a one point minimum for Rovers. But if we go in there with, with the bit between our teeth like we did against Berry, I'm sure we could battle for three points I, i'm i'm hopeful that we can we can get a nice little run going because then we will be taking on uh, bristol rovers and then i think if my mind serves me correctly then it's blackpool away so the return of the gary Boya, uh which will be a math for tie another northwest derby for the fans to get involved with so looking forward to the next few fixtures and hoping that we could start to chip away at those top two places over the years, a number of players have played for both Oxford United and Blackburn Rovers. Here are just two of them. They are, in fact, there's not that many. There's, there's a, a good handful. And I'm saving a couple for the return leg at Ewood Park. But these two are probably the best. First and foremost, I've mentioned him earlier. Simon Eastwood, once on the books at Blackburn Rovers, is now on the books at Oxford United. And he is likely to face his former club on Tuesday. So that will be a, uh, you know, a, a, he'll be out to prove a point uh, on Tuesday evening and this guy I didn't uh, didn't expect to see this one pop up but Jordan Rhodes yep Jordan Rhodes in his earlier days was an Oxford United player obviously he was a super duper star at Blackburn Rovers and he did score goals for fun but during his earlier career he was with Oxford United like I said there are other players who have played for Oxford and Blackburn Rovers if you want to check out the full list Head over to my WordPress site details in the description below. The whole list is there in all its glory. So feel free, take a look before I bring some more guys back for the return leg. Well, it's not what I think is going to happen in the match against Oxford United. It's what Cass the Cat thinks is going to happen. Let's take a look at what she thinks will happen on Tuesday.
Well, that's it all, folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. The games are coming thick and fast. Uh, after this one, we're going to be building up to Bristol Rovers at home to Ewood, at Ewood Park. Big shout out to the guys of the BRFCS forum. Uh, a lot of support from those guys. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you do so. I've got a link in the description so you can catch up with fellow Rovers fans from all around the globe. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud and iTunes if you want to check me out on the go. Also, those links are in the description below. Um, so, what, what's my closing comments for the day? Well, we're going to go into this a little bit uh, on a cautious note. Oxford coming into the back of this with uh, scoring four goals. We come into the back of this scoring three goals. So it could be a gold bonanza. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.